me, giant! Got you, motherfucker. <laughs> Give me what? What? Hands down. <laughs> I'm writing it like 72 versions. What the fuck does that mean? I got something for you, my friend. What the fuck is this? I'm Chad Hendricks. Welcome to 2012. Luckily, we got a black president. To save our ass. My fellow Americans, please pray for our country. So help us God. Two confidence got locked up. They read a book by Alex Dumas. Did you read a book on the Count of Monte Cristo? Man, I couldn't believe that. Them two convicts, they broke a hole in the wall. Did you hear about the two convicts? They weren't just two average convicts. I mean, even in Afghanistan, they were the biggest drug dealers. A brazen prison escape by any standard. A tunnel more than a kilometer long, which took several months to dig. The result? Hundreds of inmates escaped from a prison. Millionaire, multi millionaires almost. From sitting up that uh, cocaine uh, distribution. They made a hole in the wall. Stole a boat, come to the United States. They even stole a police car to get to New York. But they just bring, they want to bring some cocaine to this country. That's what they're trying to do. They broke out of jail and they're on their way um, to America. It's 2012. These two convicts are on their way to do some really bad things. To be honest, when the escape story popped up in the newspaper, I was scared shitless. These two convicts broke out of jail in South America, hijacked the plane to Miami. They were trying to get to the United States bad, man. They're going to get their judgment day. All the jails, shake, and all the cons convicts would escape. But they came to South Florida from South America uh, with the crazy import deal, uh, shot three cops. Also in America, no, South America, no, like right here, they just like houses that are not like the real prisons right here. Look how crazy 2012 is. These two convicts from South America, they blew a hole in the wall. You know, went in the Miami uh, neighborhood. They became, they became very wealthy. If anybody could break out, I mean, I think it'll be them. So they just run to throw Venezuela, Costa Rica, and all of those places come over here, turn to Mexico. So it makes me feel so, like, insecure, because, like, how did they get out of prison? You know, and, you know, in the, the time they've been their own criminal organization. These two guys are dangerous. But you know what's more dangerous than that in 2012? Just to get to the United States. Infectious diseases have devastated humanity throughout the history of mankind. Black Plague, some people call it bubonic, has killed tons of people in all the regions that it touched. From malaria to AIDS to spars, we're shit out of luck. Anything from Ebola, Avian swine flu continue to encroach upon the wilderness. Germs that used to be only for certain species have now jumped species into the humans. An even greater threat to us might be this superbug, this multi-strand type of bug that just seems to attack and seems to be no way of resolving or any kind of cure. We're fucked. Some say this overuse of antibiotics is pretty much killing the human race. We are fucked in 2012. Broke out of jail and come to America. You know, with a couple tons of cocaine, they started distributing in the streets among the drug dealers, the low, you know, the small time drug dealers. And These school convicts stole a cop car. Trafficking drugs through, I mean, submarines. They should have known to, to, to have them in maximum security. Two convicts broke out down in South Florida and they're going on a rampage now with the whole marijuana. Down in South America, these two convicts just escaped and they're trying to bring marijuana back to the United States. The biggest drug dealers in South America. Good God. 
on to uh, Mexico and over there you know there's cartels and all of these people try to just um, bring some you know stuff of cocaine and all of drugs to America. You would think with our current law enforcement and government that uh, two guys wouldn't be such a threat to such highly trained professionals but obviously that's what it's turning into. The Count of Monte Cristo, after they read that book, taught them how to break out of jail. Tell me about the, uh, the two uh, Zimbabwe guys who became cops. They work in a diamond mine. They steal the diamonds. I know two guys are true, man. Then they sell them on black market. I know them from a long time with me. Then they trade in cash to buy an airplane ticket to New York. Well, these two guys from Zimbabwe who grew up with nothing, who had no parents. In 2012 is different. You know, there's no more embassies, don't no more visas for no everybody. Them, every, everything is gonna be closed. 2012 is the crazy year, right? Oh, there's aliens from Zimbabwe in 2012. Oh, I'm just fucking with you. There's no chance of aliens from Zimbabwe coming to the United States. Ah. But maybe some aliens up there. Now that's a possibility. <laughs> Wells, but in America, can two young men from Zimbabwe come and become heroes? What's up, bro? <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, man. How you doing? Nah, I can't complain. You know, that's cool. So I was London. Oh, that's cool. And the two guys that came from Zimbabwe to become cops over here. Who had dreams of coming to America actually come here and help out. True or false, aliens had kidnapped us, extraterrestrials in America, humans all over the world. Uh, true? No, nah, it seems like we're just all alone in this universe. Cats, dogs, snakes and frogs. No ETs. Two African American people come to come from a Zimbabwe. Only American people. Oh, and the 12 million immigrants, right? Man, I wish I had a better life for. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Are you two cops from Zimbabwe? Uh, yeah, man. You know that's how many other names mine. They started watching that Bad Boys 2. They got hooked on it. Then now they wanted to be Bad Boys 3. They pretend they in a cops and they just stopped the car over there. And they were just sitting on the couch, eating popcorn, talking about the movies they um, saw, Bad Boys with Michael Bay. And they wanted to be just like the guys in the movie. Okay, the captain will be very happy to see you two guys. you have any luggage? Okay, let's go. Uh, take care of my car, man. Anyone out there take this interview right here with some great dance beat. Dance, 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 dance. If aliens had the capability to travel interstellar distances to our planet and attack us, would they really land? Would they reveal their nature and allow themselves to get shot at? Hmm. They'd most likely bomb population centers, come on down and descend, wax our ass, and then send in some automatic weapons to clean up the mess. And then start fresh. Sir, you got bad news. It's not just in the Pacific, it's in the Atlantic Ocean this time, too. Everything's shut down. It totally paralyzed the company. The oil spot reached the Indian Ocean. I guess we're fucked. Your life, everybody say, I hate you, say, I hate number America, we don't want to go over there, but everybody wants to get a visa. It's just some people you run into, might be night, some people might be night. They don't care about the world. Definitely. The weather's changing, the, the birds are flying in different directions, I really think it's going to come to an end. It's everywhere. It's a big disaster. The connections from the, all those connections from South America and Afghanistan, they just come to... So, you know, anything, anything's possible in human nature, to tell you the truth. Sure. It, it's a lot of crazy stuff in there on 2012. The USA, you know, everybody wants to come to the USA.
they wanted to become police officers. With the high expectation in America, you know what, they just want to become a cop. Those two gentlemen went through the NYPD blue. Detectives, I'd like to welcome you to the NYPD. How was your flight? Yesterday came to America, tried out with the police academy, and actually made it. I was happy to hear about our Zimbabweanians, Mike and Martin, joining the NYPD Blue. Something special about 2012 if it's going in the hell in a handbasket when the earth is going to be turned up on its edge. Just turning the earth, just flipping the shit out of it. You got two Zimbabwe uh, uh, Africans that come to America and they got hired by America to be police. And the hard ass blonde chief of police. Detective! They were talking with the, the, the over there was a sergeant, I mean, the, the, you know, the chief of police was a lady, it's a hot lady. She's fine, she's, she's got everything. And everybody was laughing at them and all that, you know, they, just, they didn't want them to do that. The other guy was the hero, you know what I mean? Pretty long, right? <laughs> Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Well, you guys already know we've had a lot of threats in New York City. And everybody thought they were jokes because they're from Zimbabwe. Like, who would actually take Zimbabweans serious? Like, I'm talking about titties like pow and the ass like wow. Well, you guys already know we've had a lot of threats in New York City. And your department in Zimbabwe thinks that you can help us handle them. Sure, no problem. You're Good. Yeah, we're going to need some peace out in the streets with these crazy cops these days. The more the merrier. You know who believes in 2012 going shit crazy? George Lucas. The idea that the earth is going to be flipped on its axis? Oh yeah. Mr. Planetary, Star Wars, Out of Space, Empire Strikes Back. He does. One of them fell in love with the chief of police, which was a very beautiful lady. Man, she done hired these two guys from Zimbabwe. The, the happy ending was blonde and very hot. The highest honors. She's almost something that you can call perfect. Detective Johnson will take you to get your badges, your guns, and anything else that you might need. The survivor guy, the, he just became the hero. So the chief of police took him on the over there in the in the station, and you know what? She was. She got the looks. She got the shape. She got everything. And they did it. She just got naked, and he fought her like a, for three hours already over there. And it, it was a discrimination that they did that. You know that shouldn't have happened. And man, this guy fell in love with her. He 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 actually went crazy about her. Now there is some alarm that the Earth could be flipping on its poles. Whether it's the magnetic poles or it's geographical poles. They really wanted to try to save the world, you know. All of a sudden the South Pole is the North. People are laying out in the damn winter time. They're freezing their asses off in the Caribbean. That's the type of shit that scares folks in 2012. Uh, by the way, do you guys have shorter names? Sure. His name is Mike and my name is Martin. <laughs> Good. That's much better. Thank you. He was willing to 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 do anything to have this lady. They have a sex for three hours. So she said, you know what, you are the best, the best, the best police in the country in this war. And it made him want to save the world. I'm so proud of them because they showed that you can grow up from nothing and you can become something and you can actually contribute to society. Now see, the planet's magnetic poles, they do flip. Scientific proof. It's just it takes about half a million years to happen. So just breathe. Don't get crazy and shit. Breathe. Don't let fear overtake your old crazy ass. It's 2012. But check this, even if the poles do flip on some crazy ass possibility, the only thing we'd have to change is our north to south compass. It's that simple. 2012, we're gonna all get killed by robots. <laughs> what? I, I seen the young reporter on TV, man. She's a good girl. She's a new caster. She's hot as can be. ¿Quién pensaría que en enero del 2011 el precio de la gasolina? She's just out and she just she disappears and we haven't heard from her. I used to watch her on the news a lot. She's a beautiful woman. She got a nice house, nice family. 
Computers are getting sneakier and smarter every day. Like these little bastards here. These robots are scaring the shit out of folks. Self-sufficient robots that will turn against their masters? The truth is, there's parallels. We are running neck and neck with technology. And this little booger here, he's built with love. She did a good job. She worked hard. She's very dependable. Uh, Spanish girl. <laughs> She's beautiful. She tied to 2012 in a heartbeat. Very prominent reporter. El precio de la gasolina costaría 25 centavos por galón. I needed to get away hearing all this 2012, you know, phenomenon and craziness going around the news. And it's the American dream. She wants to save the world. And I just can't imagine that something like that would happen to that lady because she's too nice. It's a crazy world. It's really a crazy world. Y el agua alcanzaría su precio a mil dólares por botella. María López, Los Ángeles. What happened to her was terrible. And then she got in the news trying to change everything, but this, this 2012 got everybody going mad. So these little trusty robots here, they'll overcome us. But with love. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? But they get a lead about the convicts that's um, on their way to the port with a grenade. They're gonna try to blow up New York. <laughs> I guess they dream finally came true. Guess y'all finally did it, huh? It was 2012. The police actually needed their help. Two African Americans come from the lead that went in the computer. And do hey, two guys from Zimbabwe watch the bad boys. They want to go to America to become a cop. So they become the best, the best policemen in New York, the best police guys. Okay, NYPD hired them, put them out um, on the streets to help them police the streets, and they actually did a good job. It also reset because they are both Zimbabwe, but they have a computers there too. When was the last time you saw the Zimbabwe cops? So what's with Mike and Martin? Dude, we're gonna be bad boys. Not in Miami, but in NYC. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Bad boys? Who the fuck is bad boys? What? You ain't see bad boys with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence? Who the fuck is Martin Lawrence? Nah, I don't watch that shit, man. I'm ready to kick the mask, I know what that is. So hopeless, bro. Where's bad boys that come for you? So what happened, this woman got taken. She woke up on the beach, she came missing on the other side of the water. Oh, that good looking reporter. Next thing I know, she gets on a raft and I guess floated off and completely got lost in the moment. And she was on a vacation. So what type of robot would you choose? A soldier? Or a hot TV reporter. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. How you doing? Mm, whoosh, God. Yeah, she got, uh, she went down to the beach, just, you know, chill out, get a little sun. And she's gonna go get just a simple tan and she lay out to bathe. Imagine myself lying out on the beach and then the tide just taking me out to sea and disappearing. Like, that's really weird how that happened. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? So, the TV reporters got lost at sea. Tide takes her out to sea. What's your location? It took some time to go off to the beach, you know, to sunbathe. She had a nice tan. All she did was fell asleep on the raft and floating away. We wonder what happened with that. On the loose, robbing, carjacking, boat jacking. There's, there's two guys that that attacked this older couple and throwing them out in the water and all people were saying 
it's because of 2012. And the nerve of these two convicts, they broke out of jail. And they stole his car <laughs> and they went to the harbor. Oh, what happened it was the, um, that's when they met the old people. <laughs> Most people think Carl's nothing more than your average everyday old prick, right? <laughs> Check this out. 2011 National Scientist of the Academy of the Year. He's actually a part of the U.S. Academy of Sciences that's out here trying to protect our asses from solar eruptions in 2012. He's still a cop car. Next thing you know, here comes the two convicts in the stolen cop car. They killed a police officer. They killed him. You know, and abducted him right in the middle of the road. And who did they find then? Those two guys. Where they steal the car and go to the harbor. Uh, two older people, a, the older woman and older, older man. I think it was their anniversary. You know, you could tell they've been married for a long time. Um, what do you think about you know the way the way people are these days and all treating the elderly like that? Elderly, yeah, that is is all your mind. Man, the chaos is really bad, man. The sun's vital to our lives. But right now it's fucking up all the high technology that's more vital and more important than ever in 2012. Now solar eruptions have screwed up everything from radio communication back in the 1800s to starting fires that have killed thousands in North America alone. 15 happy years. Uh, 15 years or so, and you know, they're talking about the weather, how nice it is outside. And the two convicts ran away from jail. A storm that powerful these days would have even more devastating news. It would just crush the world because everything is tied together now. Recent reports from the United States Academy of Sciences have estimated trillions of dollars being lost to one of these sunstorm damages. These damages could easily fuel chaos around the world. Two convicts, we seen them walking, walking up and down. They, they stole a cop car and they were going to make the uh, escape to New York in it. Officer down. Went and they stole uh, a police vehicle. Suspect is armed and dangerous. The convicts went out to the harbor in a stolen cop car and they pretended they was hurt and they ran into this old couple. It was their anniversary. Two old people. On their 15 year anniversary. All they was doing, you know, trying to have some family time and they wasn't expecting all that. Took them hostage. Their 15 year anniversary. They just escaped from the jail over there and they just come to. This old couple wanted to help them so bad that they allowed them to get on their boat with them. 15 years. Head down to the harbor just to try to catch a boat. These two convicts, they went and took these people, these old people. And he's still a cop car. To the harbor, and um, they went to jail. They were hungry. They were just tired. They're running. You know, asking if they had a first aid kit. One of the one of the convicts was wounded. Sir, do you have a first aid kit? At the harbor, and uh, they ran into. They act like they was hurt, and they ran into this old couple. Maria Gonzalez, a sweet, very sexy Spanish, sexy piece of an ass of a reporter just floating in the ocean, minding her own business, but damn it, it's Doomsday 2012. When up and above the sky, a huge asteroid is approaching. But all I want to know is, is the oil spill gonna catch fire? They get on the boat with the old people, they done played like they was hurt. Hey, what you doing in my boat and whatever that happened and there was a pistol come out from nowhere. 
So hold on, keep an eye on that bitch. And this old couple was trying to help them and let them get on a boat. Down there, keep an eye on that bitch. Start the fucking yeah, boat. They see a gun. The old man and them wrestling for the gun. They were acting like they were wounded and they were playing a game. Uh, taking hard. Uh, somebody had to catch up with a guy because he can't even make it too far. Damn. Is the asteroid already broken down this whole Earth and we're rebuilding already? I mean, come on. A catastrophic asteroid is believed to be what killed all the damn dinosaurs. So what do we do now? Uh, as he's grabbing, you know, the first aid kit, the, the old man accidentally revealed his gun. He also had on there a, a small pistol. They saw a nice ball, like a two million dollar ball over there. They pick up two old people. Down there and watch that bitch. Down there and keep an eye on that bitch. The ask for the help and lure them onto the boat. Sir, do you have a first aid kit? I took the gun and took them hostage immediately. The people that, what they are doing, they are killing each other for no reason at all. Down there and keep an eye on that bitch. Take the boat, let us go. Hey, just start take the, the boat, fucking let boat. Let us start the fucking boat. Go. Start the fucking boat on your bitch. The older man not knowing that he was dealing with two convicts says, yeah, of course I do in my boat. Start the fucking boat. It's a lot of food and drinking and there was a two old couple over there living. I mean, they belong, they, 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 the boat just belong to the couple. Right he went to go grab it. Right then, one of the convicts overtook the man, threw him and his wife to the ground. Down there, keep an eye on that bitch. Take the boat, fucking boat. Take the boat, let us go. The whole captain. Finally, make it to New York to get these grenades so they can give them to the Taliban. Took everything from them. I just, I find that totally wrong. Start the fucking boat. So after they had taken over the boat, you know, they, they, they immediately haul out to sea. All to get the, a grenade to the Taliban? You ever heard of the Tunguska explosion? Crazy! This asteroid exploded and threw a hole in the earth the size of Japan. I shit you not. I shit you sushi. I shit you not. Still, early warning signs of such cosmic impact just might be possible. Yeah, they're trying to get to New York to, get, uh, to take uh, hand grenades. To... They just stole the pistol. They killed those two guys. The poor guy. They killed two. They took the couple. They killed those. So they helped these convicts get on a damn boat. Just take the boat. Leave us go. They hijacked the old people boat, man. Start the fucking boat. Shut your mouth. And when they get to New York, they steal the boat. And one pretends he's hurt and wants to steal the boat. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy anymore, they're gone. They're headed to New York right now. 2012 is fucking crazy. Uh, and take off. And once they got on the boat, they shot these old guys. Silver suitcase. I guess that's, that type of stuff happens. They end up having to call the Coast Guard and... Who else but the hot little reporter chick? And they found this lady reporter that was chasing them floating out on a raft sleep. Floating on the raft, you know. She was in the bikini, she got a like a I mean, witchcraft or whatever, you know. Sure. That's why that's what I believe.
the oceans and the the um, mountains everything is coming going to the cities everybody has to run they saw that a hack 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 shake over there on the ocean What the fuck is going on? To me it's like a bunch of hocus pocus, you know. I heard about that. Uh, they told me that long time ago. It is really bad. Yeah, the world is gonna end. Twenty toll is real for for you, for me, for everybody, whoever died that day. When the world, earth is gonna end or the earth will be five percent water. That year is gonna be the end of the world for you, whoever died. The earth will have absorbed the oil contaminated water into the ground. And that's amazing in 2012. 20 motherfucking 12. The hurricanes and the the volcanoes and who would know what to expect? Tsunamis, flood flashes. They she hired them and they just started working with the police station. They're working. It's 2012 shit crazy. The police letting anybody be police? There you go, dog. What's up, man? Try to start a criminal organization in New York. It was their bomb, was like shit. And one of our heroes goes out bang. Check that shit out right over there. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Oh, she got a fat ass on. Yeah. You better holler at her. Shit, I'm about to holler right now. Just wait, watch and learn. Watch it. These two guys came all the way from Zimbabwe. Yeah, if you gonna let if you gonna let her take a Take a, uh, a newscast guy, he might take over with anybody. They got the lead, the two bad boys. You know, they remember the two bad boys. You see Shorty over there in the red hair? Red is banging, man. I'm about to go holler at him. What's, what's, what's up, girl? How you doing? <laughs> you know, uh, I'm kind of liking what you got working on back there, you know what I'm saying? What's up, what's up with that? No. Shut up, man. This ain't funny, man. Our bad boys love to pick up hot chicks in the streets. Oh, the redhead? <laughs> Her name's Mona. She's majoring in uh, super hot volcanoes and that'll probably kill the earth in 2012. Red in the head, fire in the hole. Hey. What's up, girl? How you doing, Miss Thing? How you doing? You know, uh, I'm kind of liking what you got working on back there, you know what I'm saying? Maybe drugs or contraband back in Zimbabwe, from that uh, context in Zimbabwe. I was just kind of wondering uh, what me and you might look like naked, because I'm trying to uh, see what you're working with, you know what I'm saying? Or just stunning, tall, skinny, beautiful, with, you know, nice body. What's up, What's up with that? No. Shut up, man. This ain't funny, man. She know we a YPD? Whatever, let's see, you try to do better than me. A lot of potential in those guys to say, those gonna become the best policemen in New York. There's a, there's a, uh, a prophet. Happy anniversary. They killed the people. Did I ever tell you that the world's coming to an end in 2012? Do you know about the cosmic alignment theory? There are also concerns that planets and stars will line up in a way that will transform Earth. Some theorists claim that from our point of view, the sun will actually cross the plane of our galaxy December 21st. However, the sun already does this twice a year. There is no danger. It didn't kill the elderly couple, and oh 
old man get shot? Yes. He said 2012. Let us murder one. The old lady, she seen it, so I guess not. They off the old lady. They shot him and killed him and threw him in the ocean. And these guys killed these old people and took their boat. Tsunamis is going to come to the cities and destroy every everything. He said the world's going to come to an end in 2012. Huh? A gravitational uh, force from the center of the galaxy. He sure what did. Is, what does 2012 look like and all with the chaos? It was an ancient Maya you know, or Aztec prediction about how the world's going to end. And then they ended up killing the people that they got on the boat for. Stop this bitch! And threw them overboard. You got her? The sun is still 67 light years away from planet Earth. And the cool thing is the scientists say that it would still take millions of years to get here. Crazy. Now the bodies that have any kind of gravitational impact on the Earth are the moon and the sun, as we see that in the tides. Now tidal effects from other bodies in our solar system have been affecting the Earth for years, and yet with little impact and very minuscule notice. You know, it was just probably a disgrace to them for something like that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we all about reach the Indian Ocean. I guess we're fine. People are doing everything possible. Anything out of the abnormal they're doing. Sir, can you give us any information no, no at comment. all? Any information no about comment. the West Bill? Apparently there's no comment from the executives here at BP. This is John Stouts, Channel 1 Evening News. There will be 30% water. 70% dry land. I don't need to tell you what that would do to the agriculture around the world. You know, the millennium that the computers weren't going to keep ticking over, and uh, I just think it's... And, and the oil, it's, it's so bad that it would lose the water so bad that all the fish die. You might take up with your car, you might take up with your sister or your brother. You might take up with your daughter. All right. Gas is cheap. And water is a thousand dollars a gallon. There's a shortage on water. Hachi was awarded on the ocean. So Bad things happen to good people. Sometimes, big. It, it, it is. It's, it's from wrong with people anyway. It would be mass chaos. Oh, she was over there and it's starting, it's starting screaming. There's a shortage on food now. Poor Maria. Be careful. Don't fall asleep on a raft because, hell, you never know when some sadistic murderers might sneak up on your ass and save you. How do we live in a world like this? turned in to be a pretty severe thing. It's dangerous stuff you don't want to know about.
Let me tell you about brain controlling parasites. Ants. A ants? Oh shit. Well, the suitcase. Now he, that's a bunch of shit. Mr. President, has the oil spill reached the ocean? It's a possibility. The atomic bomb war come? That's scary. Fortunately, yes. Mr. President, what exactly does the White House plan to do about this? Welcome to 2012. <laughs> Coming across the, the young woman that had fell asleep on the raft, you know, several miles out at ocean. Falls asleep and then wakes up. Now she's in the middle of nowhere. Starts screaming. Hey, help! I need some help! Please help me over here and alone! Beautiful chick wakes up in the middle of nowhere. Destroy. Then and suddenly see they see a hot chick. She wakes up and she's in the middle of the ocean and she's yelling and she's screaming and there's no one around to help her. I mean I guess she thought they was good boys. See how that shit turned out. Yeah, they took her hostage. That wasn't right, man. They took her by gunpoint. It was so wrong. Please help me. I just come in and come. Somebody help me. She didn't even believe it. The poor thing went through so much, they tortured her. Researchers from Penn State have gone all the way to Thailand and they found the spookiest shit you ever want to hear. A fungus that doesn't just kill its prey, it fucks with their mind. It mind fucks the ants forcing them to do all the work for them. Could this shit happen to humans? <laughs> Why not? It's 2012. Float around on a little on a boat on the sea, then... They throw her over the edge of the boat and hang her. They immediately head for New York. They had a, a grenade, one grenade they had to deliver. Why they dealing with the old folks? Guess who's floating in the middle of the ocean? The way they took her, she was scared to death. They just took her. With her to deliver the grenade to New York. So they made her a part of their silly little plot. This crazy, crazy jerk grabbed her, took her hostage. So that, those two guys, they saw the chick over there and said, oh my lord, that was a, a chick over there. She's floating around and she sees a boat. The hot reporter chick. Now they're looking like, who is this hot chick floating in the middle of the ocean? The reporter was kidnapped by these people on this boat. And Doesn't know, have a clue where she's at or how she's going to get home. They wake her, they have they wake with her. And woke up, you know, a few miles out sea. It's kind of a crazy story when you think about it, you know. And it does have beautiful bodies, stunning, gorgeous lady over there. So they went over there to try to help her. I hope they get caught, get convicted. You don't do that to people, right? If I see a beautiful chick in the ocean, I'm gonna roll over as well and go pick her up.
and they killed her. How's that in the Bobo, New York? <laughs> They call her on board, then they you know, try, they try to have sex with her, and you know. They... And after she's being raped and tortured, they pull on the port, and she's at the end of her ropes, and the poor thing, they, they, they tie her hands behind her back, they gag her. The whole world is in chaos. The police is all everywhere. The world is ending. After these two convicts throw the old people over the boat, then they pick up the beautiful chick, they um, pull her aboard, and it's actually the convicts who escaped from jail. And now, I guess they thought they were headed off to paradise. Keep saying it's a it's a religious thing. Uh, God's uh, God's got it planned out for 2012 to blow New York up, but the police finally catch up with them. Um, they're gonna come to America. They're gonna come to New York with a grenade in the in the back. They actually catch the convicts down in Central Park. <laughs> You saw what they did with Meg Suck in Hiroshima. Now there are brain controlling parasites that can turn ants into walking zombies. I shit you not. Now these germs, they can't quite turn humans into the walking dead yet. But still, researchers do use the zombie scenario to figure out what possibly could happen in 2012. They're gonna come to New York. The two Zimbabwe cops, they were uh, uh, chasing uh, uh, apprehended. Everything is set on a purpose which God got. It blew the whole, the whole town down. Because the New York is the crazy place. Uh, everybody can hide in New York, right? It doesn't do anything. It just destroys all the computer. Freeze, motherfucker! Ah. The guy's running down the street with the bomb. The traffic and the bridge and all of these people just try. The atomic bombs they have today make Nagasaki and Hiroshima look like firecrackers. Uh, the guys, they just gonna come to Mexico just because they have connection with the Al Qaeda, you know, in Afghanistan. Freeze, motherfucker! You know, it, it's like, it depends on, you know, what people believe, what they'll do. We want to give them a chance to be police officers, let them be some bad boys. They have all those Latin guys, like me, <laughs> and all of those people from Mexico, I mean, those people from Afghanistan. They try to just come to America, they try to bring the war over here. Uh, the hydrogen bomb, portfolio on the back, they're going to come with a grenade, so... Everything you see right now, there's buildings, everything you see. Our two heroes from Zimbabwe finally get to be the bad boys. They grabbed a suitcase and it had have, have like grenades in it. They planning to come to New York and bring a, bring a big, uh, probably a nuclear bomb or something like that to New York because they, they want to destroy us. But what it does, it destroys everything that's living. It doesn't hurt the buildings. Freeze, One Marine that tried to jump in, he seriously wounded. The policeman is from Zimbabwe, actually running down that same street, catches the convicts right in the middle of their little plot and stops them. The luck crumb bomb. You know what the luck crumb bomb is? They say the world's gonna end in New York. Crazy talk. It's gonna end in Switzerland. <laughs> Let's go to Geneva. They have a black hole there that's gonna swallow us all up. There's you know, terrorist attacks in New York. The cartel, I guess, I don't know if cartel was involved on that one, but 
definitely turned into a, a big fiasco. They don't like civilization, you know what I mean? They just like to go all over and live like in the underground and caves and uh, rocks and uh, no water and they don't take a shower for years. Now this large collider here runs about 300 miles of tunnel. It's gonna cause the big bang. Freeze, motherfucker! <laughs> The last one two weeks ago, he's actually doing very well. He's recovering. He misses his friend dearly. Everything gone. Now, of course, the Big Bang is the theoretical way of how the hell we all got here in the first place, right? It wasn't like a couple of big folks together making kids. It was the way we all ended up on the planet. Now, there is widespread panic and paranoia all over the world that this Switzerland tunnel is going to cause the next black hole. Guys don't want to work no more. I mean, taxes. What, what, what is it coming to? They actually are planning on doing a memorial for him in Central Park because, you know, he helped save the world. Some people will cling to the religion. See your computers? Goodbye. After they chase them because they know they're gonna leave it. Cats, dogs, fish, you, me, bye-bye. Kills everything living. Even if they can still generate these black holes, there's still very small chances this shit's gonna happen. Now at the speed that these tiny little holes would produce nothing more than maybe one proton of space eaten up at a time. Basically these little hole munchers are gonna take millions of years to even do shit to the earth. These little black hole mongers would take as long as it took to build the whole damn universe and all to even bite into a chunk of the earth. Shit ain't happening. But have no fear, these much larger rogue black holes are out there just circling the galaxies. And it would take them light years to get here anyway, so fuck them. With one light year equaling a trillion miles, the chance of these much larger black rogue holes of ever really reaching the Earth is very minute. These much larger black rogue holes are still light years away. One light year equaling a trillion miles. So the idea that these holes will eventually reach our galaxy is slim and none. Ah. But they don't want to help her, you know? You're gonna fucking like it whether you like it or not, bitch. Try to rape her, ravish her, and... Right, you dirty bitch. Yeah, uh, you know, all, when, all, when the end, end, end times happen, all the convicts would escape from jail, cause more chaos, cause their various criminal backgrounds. She sees some strangers on the boat. Thanks, she's rescued. You like that? You're gonna like it whether you... The world is coming to an end. Take it whether you like it or not, you dirty bitch. That's so wrong. <laughs> And they got her and done what they did to her. She gets on the boat. She's raped, gagged. <laughs> Dirty bitch. <laughs> they help the lady, and uh, the lady would. They get the lady on the boat, and they rape her over there in the boat. <laughs> it was wrong for them people to do something like that to that lady. How's your help now? <laughs> raped her and beat her up. Horrible story. From what I saw, they, they overtook her, uh, raped her on the boat, and... and That was really, really sad. That was... Um, those, those guys, they were really, really bad people from South America, you know what I mean? That was really, really bad. And they kidnapped her and raped her. Go help the bitch. She was asking for help. Some people I can't wait till they get these motherfuckers. I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker! Get down!
Why you rapping in my TV? They on a high speed chase, chasing these two crazy ass Taliban's, shooting it out. Mike, say something, man! The run around the corner, the police chased them, they're having a shootout. Basically, around the corner, shooting each other. NYPD! And he saved the world. Mike! Few bystanders got shot, but it's okay because they're trying to save the world. Drop your fucking weapon! And the end of the story, the bottom line it was they just cut the guys over there. And the grenade blew up and it killed one of them. And he died. Be a huge mess in my head and try to stop this guy. The grenade is going off and the other one saved the world. Mike! Mike, did you get hit, man? This motherfucker got a gun! When one of the police guys, one of those black guy. The terrorist are, gets upset because these police are actually folding their plan and he reaches for the gun and he actually pulls out the grenade and it goes off and the guy from Zimbabwe jumps in front of him and he dies. That was sad that the Bowen cop had, he was trying to save America dying. It was pretty sad. That, that, that breaks my heart. Give it up. Give it up. Slow. Slow. See your hands. This shit is a madhouse, man. I mean... <laughs> so you can just get away with this shit? <laughs> Not today. Coming with me, son. I knew they had a, another uh, terrorist to meet up with that was supposed to be leading from there. With a grenade, the grenade in the back, to give it to the Muslim guy over there in New York. Now check this shit out. The plot thickens. I'm ready to meet my 72 virgin. I mean, he did a lot. He saved, shit, he saved the world. What the fuck does that mean? I got something for you, motherfucker. We're gonna really miss Mike. We're gonna really miss him. The granite explode. You know what I mean? He died right over there. Trying to save the world. And if he saved the world, he gets the chief of police in the end. One of our heroes goes out with a bang. Some people, some people ain't their mind ain't right. So you can't see all people act like that. The chief of the NYPD police. His partner didn't make it. One of the grenades blew up and killed his partner. They kinda come to America, to New York. One of our heroes has just died in the line of duty. I mean, him and his partner, they take on the Taliban. They got these grenades from these escaped convicts. Give it up. Give it up. Go. For the world. Go. Hands. Give me your hands. I'm ready to meet my 72 versions. What the fuck that mean? Sacrifices itself. For humankind, for America. God's for you, my friend. Black, tall, skinny like a Beyonce. Grab the terrorist, terrorist drop the grenade. What's that? But the poor guy just ending just, um, I mean, he paid with his life. Anything you've uh, heard about uh, 2012, some of the things that have already happened that are giving people a reason why it's coming to an end? Giving a reason why? It, it's all, it, like I said, it's all in their mind. They molested her. She was kicking and screaming. Tied to the cells. Help me. A hell of a day for this young lady. And hollering. But the uh, people to help her. Volcanoes erupting, I mean hurricanes. I can't really say. Help me. Rapists, murderers, psychotic people, you know. 
that's the theory of what's going to happen, you know. I can tell you about 2012 and... How you think? Um, the world been for a long time, because nothing lasts forever. And I can understand why people saying that the world is going to come to an end in 2012. We ain't gonna be available to the world, they ain't gonna be available to you, so. Nobody know that exact time, so everybody that's shooting out this crap about the world's coming to an end in 2012, they need to stop it. Yeah, 2012, that's all, that's all you mind. Good deal. Really just study the Bible and, and just be ready for it, even if it does, but I don't think it will. Elephants, everything comes to the city, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> help me. This shit is really tragic. Some people just go like haywire, just go crazy. You know, some people commit suicide. The animals run. It's, it's a, you, can't, you can't put on a year and a time. It may happen any time. I think it's a bunch of bull crap. But. Who's the same? The sky, the flag coming down, the, the police is all over, the people is all over. It's the biggest hoax, so I just, you know. Help me! Sun is gonna come over to the earth. And, um, 2012 is bad. Everybody's getting gonna drown and they, they fights everywhere. They are. Help me! 2012 has been a bitch. She's not well. Yes. Like the Bible says, you know what I mean? It's gonna be apocalypse. It's gonna be yes. Help me! Nowadays, here we go nowadays. It's still the same thing after the same thing over and over. So. No, I never know. You know, they're advancing, you know, their time, but this is the uh, computer age, this is the space age. There are people running, the craziness is gonna be it's like a. Help me! Man, but 2012. Nah. You can't say it's 2012. It, it, might, it might happen. It, might, it could happen back in the days. It could it, it might, it might happen in what? 2021. They, they were an advanced culture, but from 2,000 years ago, you know, they had no way of predicting the future in the 21st century. Typical people being crazy, they said the same thing in 2000. Yes. We're safe now. Shit's crazy. Kids don't fucking listen. The women go crazy. And of course, there's always God. And he will come down and destroy our world. And who knows what he has in store for us? Will he eradicate our universe? <laughs> of course not. Because God is only a figment of our imagination. He's in our minds. And he's good. Because we made him so. Welcome to 2012. Everybody's constantly looking for the, to be, you know, pull a publicity stunt, and I think that's about. 2012, this is a bunch of horse shit. <laughs> It's probably going to be a repeat of 2013. We love 2012.